Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Justin. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble my mini fume extractor. It uses three AA batteries, uh, one of these small D hobby DC motors, and it uses no screws and it's just push to fit. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so here's all the stuff you're gonna need. There's about eight prints. They didn't take too long. Pretty simple prints. Uh, they don't. None of them need support to print. If you put them in the correct orientation, for example, this has to be printed this way onto the print bin. But besides these eight prints, you're gonna need one of these small DC motors, about six volts to one. You're gonna need some filters. Now this is a carbon filter. Now one of these were too thin, so I'm doubling it up. And you're gonna need, and you're gonna need about three rubber bands. Uh, one of these small switches, and about, and exactly three uh, conductors. Okay, so first thing we can do is start hooking up the motor and doing all the wiring. So you're gonna need the base. You're gonna need one of these motors. You're gonna need the switch. You're gonna need all three of the conductors and then we can wire it up okay so for wiring what we're going to do is we want to take the motor and we're going to pass it through the two holes on the on the base they should fit right in and then we're going to attach the switch it should go into the hole it should click into place right there and then the wiring what it's going to look like it's going to be the batteries. Let me check that pen. It's going to be all three batteries. Probably better this way. Oops. Give me a second. Okay. So it's going to be the batteries. Fit into these three slots. So it's three double A's. Then the motor comes in. It's going to hook up to the negative side of what on the top battery. Then it's going to loop around. And these blue wires are the conductors. And those are going to be just be loop through to connect the batteries to each other and to the switch. Okay, so I'm going to wire that and I'll be right back. Okay, so here I have it all wired up, just like the wiring diagram. So keep it here for now. So what we can do to check this is I'm just going to put the batteries in. Now I didn't do any soldering. Um, I just uh, the all holes so I can just wire it through, then crimp it to the actual hole. There we go, and one more. Right there. And then there is an elastic band that can pass through and hold the batteries in place. And we're just going to test this out by pressing the on button. And it works. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can hear that, but it works. So I'm going to turn that off again. And then we can work on the filter. So. Next thing we need is the two filter brackets, so I got them right here, and the two filters, and then two rubber bands, right here, and the two rubber bands, okay, so I'll come back one sec. Okay, to assemble the filter, all we want to do is double up our filters, we want to place them in, now this is not perfectly square, it's actually a small rectangle, so just make sure you know that, then we're going to compress these the compress the filter between the two filter plates and we're just going to attach the two plates with rubber bands just like that super easy right there and then we can actually finish this off the motor by attaching the air funnel okay okay so with the air funnel what we're going to do is grab the front plate and then we're going to take the air cone and we're going to slide it through the two slots on this plate. There we go. And then we're going to take the motor mount. We're going to pass the motor through. And then we're going to take these two wires. It goes this way. We're going to take these two wires, and there's a little slot right here that we're going to push the wires through. Okay, like that. And this part takes a little finesse, but we're going to take the air cone piece and we're just going to push it against the two, the motor mount. 
And then there's four holes with the and there's four legs to the pieces and they all just fit in place. Okay, so I got it all hooked up. I'm just going to check the motor one more time. Okay, so to test it, there we go. It works. Okay, so just to finish this off, we're going to take this last piece. It's the guard. I'm going to put it on the motor mount. We're going to take the propeller. We're going to slide that onto the motor shaft, just like this. And then we can take the filter and we'll just slide it in place, just like that. And then, and then we're finished. The filter is complete. So yeah, that's the end of this video guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing, it really helps. I'll see you next time. Bye.